Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Remember. Welcome to the all-new Drinking Pose. I'm your host, Married with Toys. Today, we're going to be reviewing some drinks that you might possibly want to try out. It's the Halloween season. Here's some suggestions for you. Posing today, we got the great Piccolo. It's my Piccolo bobblehead, original. He's gonna be ch he's gonna be hanging out with us uh, during our uh, our review. Today we'll be checking out some uh, hol holiday or Halloween. We'll be checking out some Halloween uh, themed drinks. Uh, see what uh, what works, what doesn't work, what's too much, what's too little, and uh, get you on your way so you can have your treat or. We got the Big Rig Brewing Company, and uh, this this one's supposed to be a pumpkin pie uh, spiced porter, and uh, they like to say it's scary good. So we'll uh, we'll check this one out. I, I do like the fact that it's uh, you know uh, eye catching with the tails from the patch uh, pumpkin porter. That's a that's a pretty nice pretty nice uh, artwork there for the for the season. Over here, we got from uh, Lake of Bays this pumpkin ale. Um, now, you know this is th this follows the the uh, Lake of Bays art artwork. So, I was quick to um, notice that it was something different. I hadn't seen it before, um, but uh, there, uh, you know, this is their uh, pumpkin ale as I had stated before. What's really cool about this one? We got six on the Richter scale. You know me. I like those numbers coming from a uh, great lakes brewery we got two submissions into this uh, holiday season or festive season i should say of halloween this is their pumpkin ale that's uh, going to be going uh right there and um you know uh, you can't <laughs> you can't go wrong uh when you when you see a pumpkin on on uh, on the front there, you know that's going to be a hit or miss for you. Yeah, either you like pumpkin ale or you don't. That's just the way it is. They've got a nice little little thing here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to in a, in a second. And last but not least, we got the Devil's Pale Ale right here, also from Great Lakes Brewery. Um, you know, this one was a little different. Um, saw this one and uh hesitated on getting it but hey it's a it's a solid solid artwork right there on the front you got you got the triple numbers right there going on all right let's get to it i want to send a shout out to uh moflo that's uh the company group that has uh company or group i don't know why i said that but it sounds really cool when i say company group so we're going to stick with that uh, they were the ones that made handmade uh, the placemat here, and and, uh, and as well as the logo that you see on the coaster. It is all handmade and stitched. Absolutely love it. Get some more information on that for you later on. First up, we're gonna hit. A, we're gonna try out the big rig submission. Uh, and there's some it does something really cool uh, it says it glows in the dark let's see what happens I'm gonna oh, does it glow in the dark I guess it does I'm not gonna go too dark so let's I'm afraid of the dark let's put that right back on a little a little scary so uh, for those of you who want to try it out this can does glow in the dark so you could try that out on your own time yeah it's a strong beer uh, scary good let's see what it's all about I am a fan of bitter tasting beer. So this has a little uh, bitterness to it. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. You know, I don't, I don't taste an overwhelming flavor of pumpkin. So that's really good. Um, and, uh, you know, while I'm uh, giving candies out to the trick-or-treaters, this is uh, something I could, I could sit on the, on the porch with 
so good stuff big rig this is a, a really good one and I, I gotta tell you I, I like the name tales from the patch pumpkin porter that's cool all right next up we've got lake of bays uh, pumpkin ale I do wish in the artwork that it did have uh, you know a jack-o-lantern as opposed to just like a, a crow on top of the pumpkins but hey you do you I'm here to try your uh, product <laughs> So this one right here is a uh, sweater weather. Yeah, with this refreshing malt forward ale. Hmm. Featuring magnum and fungal hops. That's not bad. Pumpkin, vanilla, and spice. Subtle notes of nut and caramel make an ideal partner for harvest fare. Doesn't matter to me. For, for this pumpkin flavor uh it's not bitter but it, it does um if you're not a fan of pumpkin uh this wouldn't be for you but uh this is another one that doesn't hurt my feelings i'm cool with it so i'm gonna enjoy that as well let's try out lake great lakes brewery we're gonna try their pumpkin ale uh, beer brewed with pumpkin and spices nice uh, right here they got a nice little poem autumn falls and paint paints the sky the midnight hour is quite nearby creatures crawl in search of beer to quell and quench their every fear an ochre elixir shall be found something dissimilar from those around oh i'm supposed to be vincent price ingredients that ferment like the hounds of hell are found inside a pumpkin shell i'm not gonna do it a spiced aroma in the air a smell that comes but once a year. It's mm, all right, year. And this vessel of ale that we create in closing is closing in to seal your fate. And as it falls, that first sip, your palate starts to shiver, for no mere mortal can resist what the pumpkin ale shall deliver. Not bad. Kudos. Now let's see if it tastes good. 5.5 .5 on a Richter scale. Mmm. This is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot uh, closer to... Um, like, somebody tells me I'm going to have a pumpkin ale. This tastes a lot closer to it. That's pretty good. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. Yeah, that's going to be well received. Mm. And our last submission is from Great Lakes Brewery. They've got a nice write up on the back. I'm not I'm not going to do it. It's really long, but it, it's it's worth the read. It's really cool. And if you can't read, then get somebody to read it for you. Yeah. All right. Let's try this thing out. Let's try this thing out. I will say that this thing's scary. Um, hmm. When you first taste it, uh, I don't know if it was maybe my smelling it or or it was, it was that that initial taste, but I was like, oh, this is gonna be. And before I could finish my sentence, uh, it came out great. This is definitely something I can sit with. Uh, not just for this, you know, time of year, for Halloween. I could, I could do this for quite, quite a, a, a few uh, different weekends. Yeah, not bad. Good job. If you like bitter, they got you bitter. If you want something that's going to surprise you, they got something surprising. If you want something that's more pumpkin, then you got something that's more pumpkin. So it's up to you. Whatever you know tickles your fancy. So you just do that. You treat yourself, and then trick kids. Or that sounds wrong, but you know what I'm saying. So just do it. All right, this is another episode of Drink and Pose. I'm your host, Mary with Toys. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace. Say bye, Piccolo. You don't? Yeah, okay. Do you know my name? Yeah, remember it forever and ever and ever and ever.